Trading is exchanging one item for another. Today, as we use money, we trade by exchanging money for items. Trading in the financial markets is the same. Take, for example, buying shares of a company. When you buy shares, you actually buy a part of that company. So if the company grows, makes a large profit, or brings out a new product, its shares will become more valuable. The person who bought these shares can now sell them to someone else for a higher price and make a profit. Why do these share prices go up? The answer lies in the concept of supply and demand. To explain this, we're going to use the simple example of going to a market to buy an apple. Let's say you're in a market and there are 10 apples left on a stall. Although this is the only place where you can buy them, if you are the only person in the market and you only want one, then the market stall owner will most likely sell it to you at a low price to make sure that he makes a sale. Now let's say that more people suddenly enter the market and they all want apples. The market stall owner may put up the price because he knows that there is more demand than supply and that his customers would be willing to pay more just to make sure they get the apples instead of another customer. If these customers are willing to pay more and more, then the price of those apples are likely to continue to go up and up. Now, when the price of those apples reaches a level where the customers think they're too expensive, then the price will stop rising and they will come back down again to an acceptable level. At this point, it could be said that the apples have reached market price. The level at which the market stall owner and the customers agree on what is an acceptable price for them both. But things don't stay like this forever. If the supply of apples increases, the price will likely go down again. Take, for instance, another market stall owner coming into the market offering more apples. His strategy to get into the market will be to offer apples at a lower price. More and more people will buy apples from a new stall and so the first one will have to reduce its price in order to compete. The price of apples can stay like this for a while or change, depending on the balance between supply and demand. So how does this apply to the financial markets? The concept of supply and demand is exactly the same in the financial world. In the financial markets, the customers are the traders and they are buying and selling shares of companies. If more people want to buy the shares because the company posted great results and it is paying out some of its profits to shareholders, then the price of those shares will go up because the demand for them will go up. You can sell those shares to other traders that want to buy them and by doing so, you will make money. For a long time, financial trading was done purely between banks and other financial institutions. This meant that trading in the financial markets was closed to anyone outside this circle. Today, you can also participate thanks to the development of the internet. Online trading is essentially using the internet to trade. Almost anything is traded online, including stocks, currencies, commodities, physical goods and a whole host of other things. You do not need to worry at this stage what all these things mean. However, if something can be traded, it will be traded. The market is open to you. You can also learn to trade. And here is where Trademo helps you.